Lithium ion, nickel, and cadmium batteries have been the focus of energy storage technologies for decades. These days, lithium ion batteries are the most popular and often seen as having the most potential. Lithium ion offers several benefits due to being the lightest material and having the highest electrochemical potential. But it also has some downsides. It's fragile and dangerous. Lithium is getting more and more expensive by the day, and there are also environmental impacts. Every ton of lithium extracted by hard rock mining results in the release of 15 tons of carbon dioxide. When lithium is mined, the surrounding area is inevitably contaminated with harmful chemicals. Access to water is being threatened in places where destructive mining extraction is taking place, which is becoming increasingly problematic due to rising demand. The lack of endurance of such batteries has been a major impediment so far. But some businesses are beginning to make a shift towards greener, safer, and cheaper alternatives like sodium ion batteries. Yet there is some good news. Now, scientists have developed a new electrolyte for high-voltage sodium ion batteries, greatly increasing their lifespan. However, before delving into the specifics, it would be best to begin with some background on sodium ion batteries and the difficulties of incorporating them into the electric vehicle industry. Sodium, an alkali metal with an atomic weight of 23, is located on the periodic table below lithium. Even though the physical and chemical properties of lithium and sodium are very similar, sodium is over 12,000 times more common in the natural world than lithium. Similar to lithium-ion batteries is the basic operating concept of sodium-ion batteries. A cell has a cathode, which is positive, and an anode, which is negative, separated by a separator and separated from each other by an electrolyte. Sodium salts, dissolved in either a polic protic or a protic solvent, make up the bulk of the electrolyte. When the battery is being charged, sodium ions go from the cathode to the anode. Since the anode typically consists of a variety of hard carbon compounds, the returning ions simply return to the anode during the discharge process, where the cycle begins again. Considering that the amount of sodium in the crust of the Earth far exceeds the amount of lithium by more than a thousand times, you might wonder why we don't use sodium ion batteries to power our modern lifestyles instead of lithium ion. Well, that's a very good question. And it looks like the world's biggest battery maker, CATL of China, agrees with you because they've just revealed a sodium ion battery that challenges existing lithium ion technology for energy density and longevity, which could genuinely revolutionize the future of energy storage. The energy density and weight of sodium were the primary drawbacks compared to lithium. In comparison to lithium ion batteries, which can reach well over 200 watt hours per kilogram, sodium ion batteries were only attaining around 150 watt hours per kilogram. That's the kind of competitive disadvantage that our market based economy cannot sustain. Since sodium is three times heavier than lithium, even though it is only made up of approximately 5% of the total battery weight, these batteries were, nevertheless, more bulky than their lithium-based counterparts. Because sodium ions are physically larger than lithium ions, they are physically unable to freely travel across the layers of a graphite anode. Back in July 2021, CATL launched the first generation of their sodium ion battery with an energy density of 160 watt-hours per kilogram and a 0-80% to charge time of just 15 minutes. Materials utilized for electrodes were the primary differentiating factor in this more recent technique. Because Prussian white, a cathode material, is a fully reduced and sodiated form of Prussian blue with a high working capacity, high theoretical capacity, and low toxicity, it can be used instead of a reactive sodium-loaded anode during cell building, saving both time and money. CATL has been able to use aluminum foil as the current collector on the anode side instead of the more commonly used copper. Also, each battery will be 8% cheaper and 10% lighter after this change is implemented. Sodium salts qualities also allow for the use of a less concentrated electrolyte solution, which is a further cost-saving measure. CATL say they can manufacture their new sodium batteries using exactly the same machinery and processes that they use for their lithium-ion production. So no expensive new startup is required either. In addition to the already beneficial impacts of CATL, 
it has been discovered that sodium ion batteries have a far higher thermal sustainability than lithium ion batteries, leading to higher safety ratings. So it's safe to assume that everyone working at CATL was feeling very proud of themselves. The researchers are working on a second generation sodium ion battery that they say would have an energy density of over 200 watt hours per kilogram, making it more powerful than lithium ion phosphate technology and approaching the performance of existing nickel based lithium cobalt batteries. Full production is expected to come online as early as 2023, with CATL looking to supply not only Tesla and other automakers but also low-cost stationary energy storage facilities for electricity grids around the world, helping to smooth the path for the rapid implementation of renewable energy. The constantly increasing cost of lithium has made sodium ion batteries look more alluring than ever before. Just keep an eye out when they replace lithium-based batteries as the product of choice. And that's all for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.